What is that? Is that a G code? Is it safe? Wh what, what just happened? How am I going to figure out what it did? How would I even know how to use it? Is it dangerous? I think I need Inspector G code. What happened here? I think there was a G code. A G code? I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll figure out what it did, how to use it, and how to parse its response. I'm off! Today, I'm happy to introduce the latest utility in the BedLoveler 5000 software suite, Inspector G Code. This is a fairly simple utility designed to make testing how your printer responds to G Code simpler. Unlike similar tools that have a lot of features and are constantly querying your printer for temperatures, positions, and other status information, Inspector G Code only sends exactly what you type and displays the entire response from the printer. Inspector G-Code is primarily intended for utility developers and hackers who need to understand low-level details about how to communicate with their printers. Inspector G-Code was designed to be as simple and as easy to use as possible. To that end, you connect to a printer in the same manner as with BedLoveler 5000. First, you select the correct printer model. Next, you set the COM port. If the desired COM port is not listed, you might need to use the enumerate menu action. At this point, we can click connect to actually connect to the printer, but commands are not sent just yet. We need to manually enter the G codes so we always know exactly what is being sent. While there are potentially hundreds of different G-code commands that a printer could support, we'll only look at three today. First, let's see what happens when we send the M115 or firmware info command. The printer responds with a large number of lines of information about the printer. Depending on how the printer is configured, the format and content of the response could change. Now, let's try a simpler command, M114 or get current position. Unlike the previous command, M114 only returns two lines of information, but in a particular format. If you were writing a utility to communicate with the printer, you would have to know and understand this format to be able to respond to it correctly. For instance, the first field is the position along the x-axis. The second is the position along the y-axis, and the third is the position along the z-axis. For the last command, let's make the printer home. We can use the G28 or Auto Home command. Unlike the previous commands, this command takes a while to complete. Until the command is finished, the printer sends out busy messages. Once the command has completed, the printer sends out two lines of information, including an OK line to let us know the command completed successfully. There are many different G-code commands available, each with their own unique uses. Additionally, every model of printer, or possibly even every configuration of every model of printer, can respond to G-code in its own unique way. However, Inspector G-code was designed to help you master the G-code commands and better understand your printer. I hope you find it useful. Before you go, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video so you can be the first to learn about our future videos, printer modifications, and enhancements to BedLoveler 5000. Thanks for watching.